Hello, my friends. Hello, everybody in YouTube land. Garage door weather strip. Very easy. Let's get it done. Now, I'm not talking about the black foam on the bottom of the garage door. I'm talking about the vinyl weather strip around the two sides and the top of the garage door. And here you can see we have purchased four pieces. And uh, it's like a product, like a plastic recycled plastic product with a with a flexible vinyl weather seal here this is the nailing strip and this is the actual weather seal now we've already removed the old stuff on this garage door although you may be doing a new install so we pull the old stuff off and we were careful not to damage the trim in this case it's aluminum siding but it could be natural wood painted wood whatever but we took it off and there's actually a mark from the old stuff, and the new stuff is the exact same size, so you could just match it up. But uh, basically, that's what we're going to do, because we don't want to leave a, a paint line. Um, but we're going to do the top first. I already have one piece in. I kind of put a tack nail in halfway just to hold it in place while I get the ladder, because it's just a couple of inches too high to nail comfortably. We're going to put that first piece in on this side, then we're going to measure, and that's a full piece. Then we're going to measure for the second piece, and we're going to bring it all the way over. And then the side pieces we're going to cut to butt up against that top piece. You use these special nails, they're aluminum nails, and they're actually painted white. Um, you could use any outdoor exterior nail, but these are painted white to match the uh, white of the thing. Uh, they're a little softer than regular nails because they're aluminum so you may want to have like a nail puller handy because you may be bending a couple of nails and uh, as soon as they start to bend you're going to want to pull them out. Uh, you don't want to give them that second whack because then you'll just, uh, but if you do crack it off you can always bang it all the way in to make it look nice. But I keep the nail puller handy in case I do bend one. Uh, I just pull it right out with the nail puller and this uses like a fulcrum off the edge So you would just like grab the nail and pull it out Or you could use like this and pull it out and then just put a second nail back in that same hole and finish driving the nail That would be the biggest problem you'd encounter. Otherwise as far as cutting it I'm gonna be using a uh, small uh, circular saw and uh, this carpenter square to make nice straight cuts and I would hold uh, whatever I measured the length, I would hold the carpenter square up against the edge of it, use it as a guide for my circular saw, or if you're using a hand saw, I would just mark it with the carpenter square and then just cut on the line. But I will be using uh, something like this as battery, and I'm doing it one-handed, but I would use that as a guide for the shoe, and I would adjust it and just cut the mark with the blade, get a nice straight cut that way and the circular saw blade will cut through this plastic material plus it will also cut through this so you don't have to worry about anything if you were using a hand saw you may want to cut the plastic with the hand saw and then use like a utility knife to cut that but otherwise that's the tools we're going to be using for the job carpenter square a nail puller hammer a nail puller uh, the aluminum nails and maybe a pencil uh, would probably come in real handy and uh and a, and a small ladder. Uh, so we're all set. So I'll give you a quick shot when we're done, but that's basically it. Um, if you don't have the old ones up already, you just want to make sure that uh, you compress that vinyl weather strip. I don't know if we're getting a good angle in the sun. Let me show you guys a little better. Um, so you just want to make sure that you compress the, the vinyl against the garage door for a good seal something like that um, with a little bit of free play but enough to compress the seal so i would say that's about three eighths of an inch that the edge of the vinyl about three eighths of an inch away from the front of the garage door and that gives just enough flex for the seal to make a a nice weather tight seal all right have fun with your garage door weather strip project this helps keep the mice out, keeps the bugs out, keeps the hot humidity, and keeps the cold air out in the winter. Plus, it makes your house look real nice. So, uh, the problem with this, uh, uh, if you do have like rodents or little mice around, they'll they'll chew around the bottom of the the bottom corners of the door. They'll chew the insulation, and that looks pretty ratty. So, you know, if you had something like that where they chewed the bottom, you'd want to replace it. Otherwise, like if a car hits it and rips it off or something like that, you'd want to replace it. So, um, 
And this is actually an older garage door that we, uh, last week we primed. I uh, gave it two coats of primer and two coats of exterior white, and it's looking pretty good. So that's actually like a 20-year-old garage door. And once we redo this weather strip, it's really going to look nice. Job done. Thanks for watching, YouTube guys. Don't forget to rate, because it really helps me with this YouTube gig. And while you're here, sub to the Handyman Zone, because it's all like homeowner, you know, apartment dweller, handyman tips. Really going to help you out in the future. Thanks. Bye.